throughout a design process, there are stages that are reached where you may wish to take a snapshot or set a milestone of the design at that specific point in time. Vault enables you to do just this, as many times as you need to do, by using the label process. Creating a label builds a snapshot of your design data as the design progresses. These labels can be viewed by any Vault user and edited by any document editor or administrator. They can be used to archive and retrieve past versions quickly as they relate to established milestones. There are a few restrictions in regards to label creation. First of all, labels are not folder specific. This means that if you have labels on files from different projects, it is a good idea to always include the project name in the label name to be able to quickly differentiate each label. As for naming labels, you cannot have two labels within the same Vault database with the same name, and you cannot use characters such as backslashes, colons, question marks, etc. To create a label, from the Tools drop-down menu, select Labels. Alternatively, you can also select a folder, right-click, and then select New Label from the Context menu. Within the Labels dialog, click the New button. This opens the New Label dialog. Here, click the Browse button and select a folder which will be the target location for the label. The latest checked-in versions of each file within the target location and subfolders will be linked to this new label. Next, fill in the Label Name field and then any comments you wish to input. The Comments field is an excellent method for making sure that the purpose of the label is clear to all of those who may need to access it at a later date. Click OK when done to complete the label creation. The label is listed in the List of Labels section of the Labels dialog. Along with the name and comments entered, Vault also records the time it was created, which user created the label, and how many files are included within the label. By selecting Label within this list and clicking Edit, the Edit Label dialog is accessed. Here you can change the label name and the comments. However, the target folder or folders and the files linked to this label cannot be changed. A label can be deleted by simply selecting it in the list of labels and clicking the delete icon. At the bottom of the labels dialog are two more buttons, restore and pack and go. Select pack and go to gather all of the files relating to this label and access the pack and go dialog. Here you can create a copy of the files at the versions they were when the label was created and place them in a new destination folder outside of the vault or email them. The Restore button, however, affects the files as they are currently in the vault. If the files have had new versions created and are at varying stages of the design, and then a label is restored, Vault will restore the versions of each file linked to the selected label as the latest version. This is a great method to restore an entire project, rather than attempting to restore each single file one at a time. You cannot, however, pick and choose which files get restored with this process and which ones don't. Every file linked to the label will be restored. In addition, it is important to know that if the restore process is cancelled as it is in process, any files that have been restored will remain, yet the files that have not yet been restored will not be. When a label is created, it creates a link between the files and the label itself. This means that any files that are included within the label cannot be deleted from the vault unless the label is deleted. However, deleting a label will not delete the files only the label itself. Creating labels within a vault is an excellent method for establishing milestones of the project design, especially for companies that have Vault Basic, which does not have revision control. They can use labels to establish lifecycle states of their projects. For example, creating a label at the checking stage and another at the release stage is a great way for establishing baselines for these stages.